What's up, what's up? This is my 90 day challenge and I'm doing another video. That's right. So it looks like I'm always wearing the same thing and I'm in the same card, <laughs> which I am, but uh, don't judge me. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna have to switch up my attire. Maybe this is just gonna be my look. So you know when you see me, this is me. But um, I just wanted to get on here, obviously, to do my 90-day challenge. I uh, just got back from Party City, got some uh, balloons for my daughter's third birthday tomorrow. And if you don't know, helium is expensive. There's a shortage in helium. I guess for the past decade, there's been a shortage that they're just, I don't know, look it up. But anyways, my birthday, my birthday. My daughter's turning three tomorrow, my precious diva whom I love very much. And uh, she's just been very excited this whole weekend. Uh, my in-laws came down from Idaho, uh, her grandparents. And so she's, they've been spoiling her and she's just uh, going bonkers over all the attention and gifts and love. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm basically parked across the street to do this video real quick, just to check it off my list. And uh, I wanted to kind of come on here and uh, talk about a topic. I'm gonna have to get some uh, content to talk about. So today's topic is the power of a hug. Yeah, hugs and how powerful they can be. So I don't know about you guys, but I grew up in a family that was all about hugs and uh, we used to do family hugs <laughs> um, every time. I mean, we just hugged all the time. I don't think there was a time, you know, I remember growing up where I was embarrassed. I don't think I was ever embarrassed. You know, I was always, you know, I had fun with my family. We had a good, close relationship. And uh, I know some people kind of grew up not having that uh, affectionate family. And uh, so I just wanted to come on here and just kind of share with you guys um, what I think. And I know there's been studies about hugs and touch and holding hands. And I just kind of want to know your thoughts on that. And if you guys grew up in a uh, hugging family or uh, if you guys were more of a, I don't know what you guys, if there was something else or more distance and stuff. And I know for males, for us manly men, uh, affection or hugs in that manner might not be uh, something comfortable to do. I know I'm in construction and uh, you don't see many guys hugging it out. I mean, you do. I guess you kind of do. You do that like handshake, the shoulder hug, kind of, you know, the manly hug, the side hug. Um, but I wanted to say too, if you guys out there challenge you guys, when uh, you and your significant other uh, if you're dating or if you have a wife or your girlfriend whatever um, and this goes both ways and I've noticed it's helped and it's interesting to see the effect of a hug but uh, if my wife and I get into a fight which we honestly don't fight that often it's kind of like when we do it's a pretty good one um, and it doesn't have happen often but I find myself kind of thinking in my head, like as the arguments going, cause I think a lot, I got a lot going on in my head and I'm thinking about, okay, what are we arguing about? Is this really worth it? And if you know me, I do like to kind of have a good argument. And so what happens is, is my wife gets frustrated because I start talking and she's like saying something. I'm like, well, that's not what I mean. If you look at it this way, <laughs> I start going into like, if you can see it this way and kind of giving her more of like a, I guess it comes across like a lesson or something, which I don't intend it to. I just wanted her to understand my side and she gets frustrated. And anyways, in the end, even in the heat of the argument, I will try to get in a position to give her a hug. And it's interesting that as soon as I give her a hug, you can almost sense a release of tension um, in your body. It just kind of seems like, <sighs> okay, let's move on type of deal. And uh, 
I encourage you guys, if you guys are ever in a situation, and this this you know can go for any anyone anywhere, it doesn't have to be in a relationship. I mean, I guess if you're comfortable giving hugs in public or take it for what you want, but if there's an argument, even if it's another guy, <laughs> I mean, just hug it out and you'd be shocked. They, they probably would be shocked too, especially if it was in public or some person that you don't really know, like if you're at a bar <laughs> and you just go up and say, hey bro, let's hug it out. They'd be like, what the heck? What? what? I mean, it, it just squashes the tension. I think there's a lot of uh, tension and I think a hug could really uh, solve the issue. Um, I know for my daughter, she we've raised her doing hugs. She loves hugs and we do family hugs and she's even come to us and when she senses tension with uh, myself after work or my my wife you know she's going through some issues and battling benzos my my daughter senses that and it's so cute how she will go and give my wife a hug her mom and it's therapeutic when she receives that hug she senses a relief of you know, she senses her love and joy, and it's just a connection, something about that positive energy of another human being sharing that love and affection with touch of a hug, and how much that bonds each other. Um, I know too, like when you greet someone, everyone does a handshake, um, try a hug see what they think. I know it's interesting when I am introduced to someone, I've kind of, I haven't done it that much these days. I think it's just, we live in a time right now where it's different, you know, to give a hug. It's almost like, should I give a hug? Do you think they'll accept the hug? <laughs> it's, you're just kind of scared or you, you have to question it, which I challenge us to bring the hug back. I think uh, when someone is introduced, hug them. And I know too, there's also a thing too, okay, like if I'm introduced to another woman, you know, do I hug them? I know there could be con some controversy or I don't know if the hug's too long or, <laughs> you know, there could be some things just, you know, common sense, you know, there's a hug and then there's a hug. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to get on here real quick and just kind of share that. I'm about to go inside and uh, continue this party with my daughter. I think we're going to go out to dinner. I'm not sure where yet, but I challenge you. Today's topic, hugs. The power of a hug and hugs are manly. So hug it out. All right, guys. Peace.